say it again. Humans are strange. You wanted to discuss something. I found a stolen dream. It seems powerful. I think it's a dragon's dream. Excellent. That should do nicely. Come back and see me when you have the remaining ingredients. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demavent's son. Why? The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power. The object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Conscious. The white wolf will see him. I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Such judgment is above their station. I believe it's Hensel's provocation. He wants to drive a wedge between us. Geralt! Good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights. 
A journey in noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackout. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Not doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care! Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. We? Oui? The mob's akin to a forest after a drought. One spark and the fire will be unstoppable. I'm no peacekeeper and definitely no judge. We're both in it, whether you like it or not. Why are you getting involved? For her, Gwynblade. Certainly not for this rabble. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as his stations do. They're playing into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other's throats, we'll have to fix the entire mic of Kedwin alone. You can't mix water with fire. This is nonsense. Saskia could. The prince gain and you see what they did to her? I could tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. Give us this whole power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! Change your Things look bad. Witcher, Come over here. are furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly lot. They know their heads will follow Stennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarkin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. Anyone reached the prince in his chamber? Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her ward's hiney. If the rabble slaughters the prince, there'll be no stopping them. They'll start doing things their own nasty way. That's why the nobles will support the prince, even if they believe he's guilty. I'm sure Stennis' hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done it. Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. 
so it never crossed your mind that Henselt might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. The prince has it coming, methinks. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Greetings, Gwynblade. Anything changed? Not really. The peasants keep hollering. The noblemen stubbornly guard their chieftain. It's good to see someone's taking care of it. Give us this hot Say, power. Witcher, come over here. Down, you surly dog. Graceful the mist and common of your noble when we put a thoughts. sickle to your throat. Save what your... do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plow your fields. Farewell. This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the virgin's death? I could tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that, Ringster. Give us this whole power! Roll in dung, you surly dog! You will change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save I your hope friends at least for you'll refrain from doing anything woman. stupid. I want to speak with the prince. You're unique, then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, Master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never. You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed the royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. 
Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Rolling dung, you s Go get the lads! We won't stand for this! Oh, ah, my hand! I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. Task is on the pier with pencils at the gates. Wraiths fill the mist and commoners and nobles are at each other's Hurry up, Witcher! Give us this whole this power! Is nonsense. Roll in the dung, you surly step. dog! I could tell you what he wants. I'd gladly hear your opinion on the situation. Finally! Someone reasonable. It's obvious Hensel bribed some serf who then did what he was told. The local peasants love Saskia. Those surly dogs would gleefully accept a heavy pouch. Show me a serf with any sense of honor. Hensel couldn't possibly reach Vergen. Doesn't he have sorcerers at his court? Or perhaps he hired a witcher to break through? There's no other explanation. That's interesting. Just think it through. The prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. Then that same commoner incited his folk to stand against the nobles and the prince. Something to think about. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like her sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth, then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who will manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them. Farewell. Give us this whole power! Roll in dung, you surly dog! You would change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing, because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's breeches. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to a lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. 
It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. The prince has a coming, methinks. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. He cannot be trusted. If he found proof of Stennis's guilt, he'd point his bow the other way. But if it wasn't for him, we could not defend the prince. They say someone cursed a spell. And the virgin fell as if dead. Could be. Sorcerers are a plague of the worst kind. Hang them all by the balls and let them swing. There goes the piece. Nobody will believe me anyway. Witches, an army led by a woman. The gods who needs this? They're used to it. Lady Saskia will defeat Hensel and make Bergen her capital. You don't know. Nobody will believe me anyway. She'll grant market rights. You shit for brains, all of you. You'll soon meet the Excellency Market Rights. People, get a hold of yourselves. Just pray we survive this war. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're a liar. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Alcan. The one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um... I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Alcan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Hey, please. Eyes again, Buzz. Uh, raised his hand and pointed a finger at him. I'd rather rabbit dogs bite me in the arse than be pointed at by some wraith. What happened then? What do you think? He ran from the battlefield, fast as his legs would carry him. Lost his clogs on the way. Oh, I'd run so fast I'd lose my head. He ate behind the store. Spent the night there. Oh, believe his hair turned grey as a dove's. Didn't live to see more then. His heart stopped. God save us! They say someone cursed the spell, and the virgin fell as if dead. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. 
Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Were you looking to get rid of the harpies? Aye, the flying rot. I've destroyed their nests. They won't be returning anytime soon. That's what I want to hear. You deserve a reward. Job done. I'm here for my pay. You killed the Harpy Queen. In that case, you've earned your coin. Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Who was Master Baltimore? He was a runesmith. The greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down the Pontar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. How did he vanish? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his fears, even paranoia. But that comes natural with great artists. Thought someone was out to kill him. Then he vanished without a trace in mysterious circumstances. After a month-long search, we held a funeral without his body to honor the memory of the great master. Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice became the new runesmith. And life goes on. Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house along with the honor of continuing the Great Master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? I found this. I can't read it. That's Elder speech, right? Correct. The text describes how to get to a certain place. What place? Don't know. The clues mark out a route of some sort. Could be where Baltimore hid his notes. Please, come to me if you find anything. It's very important. 
Welcome again. How can I help you? I have a few questions. Ask away. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. We're stupid. She just fell unconscious. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging them. They say someone cast a spell, and the virgin fell as if dead. How do you see it? Do the gods favor Lady Saskia, as she claims? The gods never favor it. Strange aura. Nothing interesting. Magic don't cling to her. I think we'd best change the subject before things get out of hand. My lady, you're a wondrous sight. <laughs> All in your nest and view. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting. Pretty warm for this time of year. 
It is colder usually, isn't it? <clears throat> the mages must be up to something. Oh, yes. They devise all the experiments. Always changing the world. They'll botch it one day, and it'll be the end of us, I tell you. I shudder to even think about it. I want you to have this feather. I have no use for it. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, neither do I. Uh, neither does this collector, you mean? Yes, yes. Uh, neither does he. I wonder why he needed a specific number of feathers. Perhaps to match the number of empty spaces in his feather album. Don't see how that would matter. It's immensely important! Well, I guess I don't know much about collections. Wait! What are you doing here? I've been shadowing you since the first time you asked about Baltimore. Don't you mean we? Pay them no heed. They're my apprentices. I've an offer for you. Before you explore that chest, allow my apprentice to take Baltimore's notes. The rest is yours. What's in those notes that you care about them so much? Why can't I see them? Baltimore was quirky in his old days. The chest may contain documents disgracing people who hold important posts in Vergen. I can't allow anyone to read them, even if they're the creation of a sick mind. That's why, as I said, you let us search the chest before you do. We'll take the notes, you'll likely get a pouch full of orange, as well as a discount in my rune shop for life. And I have an offer for you. Get out of here, or I'll cut your head off. I knew kindness would lead nowhere. Get him, lads! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
Chief. By the pricks of the male gods, Master Baltimore's notes! Where did you get them? I discovered his vault near the troll's lair. By the way, Thorak, your new rune master, is dead. He and his two apprentices have left for a better world. What? How did it happen? Thorak murdered Baltimore. There's enough evidence in the notes I just gave you. Thanks, Witcher. A reward for your labors. It's not much, but... I'll be needing funds to appoint and equip a new rune master now. If you don't know what's going on. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. He cannot be trusted. The Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind, how eminent is his lineage? That's why! The mongrel covets the crown! Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox! Taking the simple peasants in! But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think! See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horsons. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much, then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. 
He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stannis! Saskia's got her own chalice! It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanting to hurt the miss? Never! It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us! A pig won't cut its own throat! A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes! His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she... The Virgin of Eden can judge me. Can he? And if Saskia won't get well, who's going to judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree, or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? Peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. 
There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Squirtel units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kidwani camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? Nobody wants you here.
I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! <laughs>